Okay, so this next video I want to share is uh, is a bad outcome. Uh, I don't believe the person uh, it involves one person choking another. I don't believe there's any particular technique or expertise being applied here. Uh, and I'm really sharing this to highlight the importance of having technique and expertise before you, if you're if you're going to do these kinds of things, because if you do it badly. Uh, the outcome is very, very bad indeed. And that's what we have here. Uh, this video is very short. Uh, it involves uh, one gentleman uh, on top of another, a very large, heavy gentleman on top of another. I'll, I'll share some some of the facts around this. Oops, that's not the button I want. Let's see. Uh, where is the video? Here we go. So we have this gentleman in the in the red tank top, heavy set gentleman. Uh, he's on top of a Hispanic guy. I uh, hear some of the background facts in this case. So the man in the red shirt is uh, um, Terry Thompson. Uh, he's on top of John Hernandez. Uh, Thompson had gone to a Denny's to have a meal with his family. Uh, his wife, Thompson's wife, would meet him there. Uh, she happens to be happened to be a deputy sheriff at the time. She's in the upper part of this image here. She's helping hold down the man on the bottom. Uh, and uh, Thompson here on top has got his arm wrapped around Hernandez's neck. He's applying some kind of choke here. Uh, when I play this, you'll hear you'll hear hear people saying things in the background like stop, stop. You'll see bodies move in front of this camera. Those are friends of the, the man doing the choking here. They're trying to stop the video recording from happening. When they say stop, that's what they mean. They don't mean stop choking. They mean stop recording because they don't want, this is an, an example of a recording being bad <laughs> for you uh, because he's he, what he's doing is bad. He's doing it wrong. Uh, and he's definitely applying force too long to this guy's neck because he causes ultimately life-threatening injuries. Um, the, the paramedics finally show up. And uh, this guy ends up on life support, and eventually they unplug him from life support. And John Hernandez uh, dies three days after this event when he's pulled off of life support. The gentleman on top gets prosecuted for murder in this case. And his first trial, there's a hung jury, but they try him again, and he gets convicted. And he's now sentenced to 25 years in prison. Uh, his wife, who was a deputy sheriff, a police officer at the time, who's helping to hold down John Hernandez, she also got charged with murder. Now, after her husband's conviction, the prosecutor decided to drop the charges against her, probably because the couple has a couple of young kids and you don't want to put the kids in an orphanage if you don't have to. But their father's in prison effectively for the rest of his life uh, because this was not done appropriately. Uh, so let me go ahead and play this video. It's only about 44 seconds long. Uh, there, it's not great video, folks, but it's what we have. So we'll go through it and we'll talk a little bit about how this might have been done better. Okay, so that's the video. There's not that much to see there. I will say that if uh, if the friends, if your friends are telling other people not to record, it's not because they think the recording is going to be helpful to you, right? It's because they think the recording is going to be harmful to you. Another big difference between this case th is how this started, why this use of force happened. In the first case we watched, Israel was stopping an assault on a clerk in a store. So an innocent person was about to be physically injured. That's why he stepped in. This fight happened because the man on the bottom, John Hernandez, was apparently urinating in the parking lot of the Denny's. And uh, Terry Thompson here took offense to that. And things just escalated to a physical confrontation. This did not have to happen. There was no good reason for these men to be involved in a physical confrontation. Nobody likes it when you're bringing your family to a restaurant and somebody's peeing in the parking lot. That's not a reason to get into a fight, folks. Uh, and the outcome here, of course, was quite the opposite of what we saw. There, there's no control. There's an overwhelming use of force, excessive use of force here that resulted in a death and a conviction and a 25-year prison sentence that just didn't have to happen. So 
in, there was control. They were controlling the man, but they were controlling him by controlling his neck. It was some kind of a wrap. I couldn't really tell, but the arms were around the man's neck, and I'm not sure what the damage was. What were the injuries when he went? Do you know? No, I, I don't know. I just know that it's serious enough that he had to be put on life support. So I, I don't know if the larynx was crushed or he was just deprived of oxygen long enough that he suffered brain damage that... You know, yeah. I'm sure when the paramedics showed up, they put him on a bag right away to keep him breathing to, you know, hopefully the hospital would be able to do something to bring this guy back. But obviously, ultimately, they weren't. Yeah, this really makes me think about like how you said nobody wants to see someone urinating in a restaurant, especially when you're with your wife and your kids. 